Hey everybody, I'm the Red's Kiss. And I'm the Cup of Fun. And today, we're gonna make something I kind of made myself uh, like three or four years ago now. Uh, I don't like pancakes that much. I know, I know, hard to believe. I hate pancakes. <laughs> Neither of us really like pancakes all that much. So a while ago I tried making a pancake that we would both enjoy more than a normal pancake. And I mean, I got somewhere with it. I was happy with the recipe by the time it was done. Uh, but today we're going to show you how to do that recipe, Isup. At the time, he didn't know it was gluten free, so... So what we're hoping will happen <laughs> is we will go from the most okayest regular pancake is now going to be one of the best gluten free pancakes. Because it'll have flavor. You ready to do this, Ashlyn? Yeah, let's do it. So this recipe is an apple spice pancake. To start, we're actually going to use some Apple cider. Good time of year. Yeah, it's a good fall recipe. Good stuff. Good farmer's market apple cider. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, we're also gonna put uh, a star anise and some cinnamon in there. But what if we don't have a whole cinnamon stick, Ashlyn? Can use cinnamon powder. That's fair. It makes it... it might change the texture a little bit. I don't think you'll notice it in the end of things. The end of things. The end of things. The end of time. And then I also have a few other spices here that we're also gonna here. Like, mm. we're gonna move this to the stove and let it simmer and steep for about five minutes. Ashley, what are your other spices? Not my cardamom and cinnamon powder as well as a stick. So she's gonna simmer that on the stove. And while that's simmering away, we're gonna get the dry team together. So the dry ingredients. First you wanna start by putting in the flour, which is gluten-free. A bit of brown sugar for sweetness. Oh, I guess I got a bit of salt to help bring up that sweetness. And some baking powder. We're gonna give these dry ingredients a good whisk until they are uh, incorporated. And with those incorporated, we're just gonna wait for that uh, apple cider to steep, and then we'll mix them all together. Yes. Let the waiting commence. Or I'll just edit it. I'll just edit it. Ready? So our apple cider has been steeping for about five minutes now. And uh, I forgot to mention before I put it on the stove, you should probably put a lot to preserve most of the liquid that you can. If you don't, when it's getting all warm and bubbly, some might evaporate out. You don't want that. Also, before you put it inside your batter, make sure to remove the two whole spices that I have in here. The cinnamon stick and the anise glue. Mm -hmm. You don't want that in your pancake. That's a, that's a bad time. Yeah, I wouldn't stick that away. Back to seem dry, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this warm apple cider to it. I'm gonna start mixing that. Butter here. This hot melted butter. We got some egg replacement. Now you could just use one egg, but Ashley can't have eggs, so egg mm. replacement is going to be in here. It still seems kind of dry, Ashley. I feel like we need something else in here. We need this applesauce. Mm. Oh goodness, it's a, it's a bit thick. But... Now that's an interesting choice, using applesauce, Ashley. What led you to that? Well, I was having a struggle getting the apple flavor into my pancakes, so I went ahead and just... Uh, went straight for apples. And put applesauce on it to try to bring up the flavor more. Now your, your um, batter looks pretty thick. Should we add a little bit more apple cider, perhaps? Yeah, I should do that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. We're also gonna put about a tablespoon of honey inside it as well, because you know, honey's tasty. Now you could measure your honey, but then it's a pain to get out of the measuring device, and it's a mess. And if you have too much honey, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, so roughly a tablespoon. Drizzled on in there. Mixed in. Now normally with pancake batter, there's this whole thing about stirring it just enough. You might stir it just till it combines and then stop stirring it because you don't want to overwork the flour. But hey, we're gluten free. We can stir it all we want. <laughs> Take that, you lame people who can have wheat. But if you do have wheat flour, make sure not to stir it too much. Just enough to get the lumps out. Yeah, tough pancake. Next, we get to cook it. Yeah. Now, Ashlyn, hypothetically, Say I hate pancakes. <laughs> Fair. 
but there's a superior breakfast bread item that could easily be put in instead of a pancake. You mean like waffles? Right, like a waffle. How would I make a pancake into a waffle? Are they the same thing? Um, not exactly. A waffle tends to have more sugar in it to encourage caramelization and has more butter inside the batter as well. So it just so happens that here I have some extra butter. Ooh. Oh no. And it just so happens I have some sugar. <laughs> I had a tablespoon of sugar, which is three teaspoons for those of you who don't know how to convert, convert teaspoons to tablespoons. And they were kind of heaping because I like sugar. <laughs> and with that, we've turned waffle into pancake batter. So there is the vegan elephant in the room. <laughs> we're using butter. <laughs> and honey for that matter. You can use any oil. We, we're big fans of coconut oil here in this place. Yeah, we use Canola coconut. oil. Vegetable oil. As far as to replace honey, you can easily just use agave syrup if you're into that kind of thing. And you can just add more sugar. Or you can just use like maple syrup. It's a pancake. That's fair. Cool, let's make some cakes. So we're gonna make some pancakes. Pretty simple. Take a nice greasy up pan. Put some batter in there. Not the most advanced technique. I would argue not the most delicious technique. <laughs> but it is something. Our ladle recently exploded, so to measure out our batter, I'm using a measuring cup. How much batter do you use? Depends on the size you want your pancakes. How big you want your pancake? <laughs> so you're gonna put this on the stove and cook it until bubbles start to form. Okay, so here we have our pancakes. Now a lot of people have problems with flipping pancakes. Hi. <laughs> what you gotta do is look for these little air bubbles and when they pop and stay in place, it's ready to be flipped. Remember you should keep your temperature rather low so it doesn't burn on the bottom. I'm just gonna give it a flip and it'll be back on the stove. We're gonna flip the other ones just now on camera. And with the power of some apples and butter, we have some beautiful pancakes. Time to dig in. And with that, we have pancake. It looks so tasty. Tasty pancake. Eat it. Get in there? I'm gonna get in there. Oh goodness. Nice stack. I'm gonna get not the full stack, that's a lot of cake. <laughs> so this pancake, since it has the applesauce, does have a much softer texture. But I was more thinking about the a boot. Um the flavors so. though. Mm. That's pretty good. For a pancake. It's like a pumpkin spice pancake. <laughs> but it's apple spice. It's tasty, especially if you like apples, you'll like this. Mm. Well, there we oh, butter down. <laughs> there we have it. Apple spice pancakes. Let us know what you thought. Let us know if there's something else you miss. Are you upset we didn't make a waffle? You, you take the batter, you put it in the waffle. <laughs> you put iron, it in the waffle iron, you close it. And you have a waffle. <laughs> Is there anything you miss? Anything you want us to recreate, replicate, or reproduce? Let us know, and we will do our best to do that then. Down below, there is my email and Twitter that you can send me a message through, and you can also just see the comment section down below if you want. I that suggest the too. comment section, because normally when I upload, I forget to add her email. Thanks. <laughs> but sometimes it'll be there. <laughs> or you can just like say in the comments, hey, you forgot to put the thing there. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next recipe. Yeah,